Welcome back to Community Storytelling Season 3. Thank you, Linda Lester, Jaco Art House in Los Gatos. Thank you for these wonderful, colorful canvases behind me. And I'm Lisa Chrysler, but you already know that, right? We've been, we've been friends now for three seasons. So today, something a little different. I, I might embarrass him. I'm not sure. You may know this man. Um, I have decided his claim to fame, though, was being on Dance Party on Coffee TV Channel 20 with the dog, yeah. <laughs> Ron Knapp, Ronald Knapp. Oh, nice nice to, meet to meet you. you. Oh, thank, yeah. you. thank you. I don't think it's anybody's so ever gone to grab my hand. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, is it okay that I said your claim to fame was being on Dance well, that's, Party? That's one of them. I mean, yeah. we have so, so many fans, Dance Party. Yeah. I mean, that's a big deal. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I joined that uh, uh, Dance Party maybe around season four out, out of season nine. and. Um, and uh, so, yeah, now, sometimes when I'm out and people recognize me from so, Dance Party. So, okay, so for those who are not familiar with how could that be, but yeah. Dance Party has been, it was a takeoff on American Bandstand. Kind of, yeah. Um, and it was Jim Gabbard at the time. I think yeah. it was his vision. He had so many fun visions for Coffee TV. Yeah. And you started this Dance Party. What year was that, do you think? Oh. Because I know long, you weren't at the beginning. Long but time ago. So we're going back well, well, a decade uh, well, eight, eight, like eight or nine years ago okay. when they started the, the okay. thing. Okay, and, and you were in season. I think four is when I picked it up, yeah. And, I mean, how do you get to be a star of Dance Party? Well, oh, here's how it started. Uh, I was at the uh, the Pumpkin Festival in Half Moon Bay. Yeah. And Coffee TV had a booth, and they were playing music, <laughs> and I'm always attracted to music. And so we all went over and were dancing, and they said, well, you should come and uh, do the show with us. And we found out where and when, and uh, so we just showed up and um, got hooked on it. And <laughs> the rest is history. Yeah. So how did the shooting go? Did they shoot one show a well, day, they, a weekend? The, the way, what they do is um, on one Saturday a month, they shoot, shoot three shows at noon, 2 o'clock, and 4. And you can be in any or all of them. Uh, and, then, and it's kind of first come, first serve. So we, we get there early in the morning. And, uh, and get our costumes ready because everybody wears some kind of costume. For it's, every show? Well, normally it's uh, 80s theme. So, uh, you know, you, you wear 80s clothes uh, or, uh, you know, for women like, uh, like spandex uh, leotards and headbands. Some, some women like those, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, other times there's themes like uh, Prince or Michael Jackson or a holiday, um, Halloween, Christmas or Carnival. So, what uh, did you go dressed as? Oh, all kinds of stuff. Yeah? You, you won't believe it. So by trade, you're an engineer, right? Yeah, I'm an so engineer. This, so how many engineers love to dance? Uh, not many. Not that many. Yeah. But, uh, How'd you get that bug in you? Well, it, it started um, probably in the 80s when I was uh, going to Decathlon Club in Santa Clara near my work. And I was going to the aerobics class uh, at, at lunchtime. And then they took away two of those classes and substituted a dance class. And I resisted at first, you know, and I, I didn't even go. And then one of my coworkers, uh, who I played tennis with, and we, we, we were going there every day, she, she said, you know, you really have to try this dance class. So re reluctantly I went, and uh, the teacher was so beautiful and graceful, and I thought, what, you know, if I could just get 20% of this, I'd be happy. Well, I did a lot more. I just I jumped in 100%, yeah. like I usually do when I commit to do something. And I got hooked on it. And uh, I got to the point where um, I got good at it. And in fact, I started subbing for the teacher when she wasn't there because it was hard to find subs. And I knew the music. I knew the choreography. So um, Now, did I, you have a dance partner? Did uh, you fall in love with anybody from uh, this? No, uh, it, it, this, is, this is group fitness mostly, so uh, you, you dance individually. But I, but I have done a lot of partner dancing, swing dancing, yeah. and, and salsa. Salsa yeah. is all Well, partners. you need a partner for that. Uh, not necessarily, yeah. because, um, because then uh, I started doing Zumba around 2006 or seven. In fact, I got certified as an instructor, and I've been an instructor for a long time. And uh, as an engineer, it's hard for me to have a regular class uh, because of my travel schedule. But uh, what I started to do was sub for people. Yeah. And, uh, but 
I got to know all the top management at Zumba. I know the creator, the CEO, and I started going to trade shows and helping them wow, out in the booth. Wow, an experience. So I would work in the booth doing demos, um, signing people up, and uh, just having fun. Now, was this after or before dance party? Like, do oh, we thank oh, Coffee this, TV for this? No, no, this is way before dance way party. Way before, okay. Yeah. And are you single? No, I'm married. I've okay. been married a I, long time. Not that I was propositioning yeah. you, but <laughs> no. I was going to say there's so many women who are looking for dance partners. You could go online and you would have you would have women at your beck and call. Well, I do. Uh, <laughs> let, let me <laughs> let me tell you. Um, oh. I, I'm, I'm so fortunate. I have a, the, the greatest wife in the world. Uh, we've been married 47 years oh, next week. Oh, nice. And in fact, long we dated, we lived together five years before that and dated in high school three years before that. So I, I've been with her all my life. Forever. And uh, we have a lot of things that we share in common, but dancing isn't one of them. Really? And um, so she's happy that I can uh, follow my passion and go out and dance with my friends. And uh, a lot of my friends have the same situation. Like a lot of women, their husbands don't, don't like to dance, don't like to go out. So I find a, a bunch of friends that we all go out, we go to number one Broadway, we go to um, dance music in the park and, yeah. and jazz in the plaz. In fact, if, uh, if anybody has been to those events that they've probably seen me dancing. You're always front and center, uh, huh? Um, often I'm the first one there on the dance floor. Yeah? Yeah, I, I have friends that are more than willing to do that. My friend Lisa, she'll go anywhere, anytime in front of anybody and dance any kind of dance. Perfect partner. Yeah. There you go. So dance partner, are they still on? Are they still showing the shows? Dance party. A dance party, yeah, yeah. yes. Uh, yeah, they, they are. It, they're, they, they haven't had a, a host for a while, so they're doing a lot of reruns. So that's why I never know when I'm on. They, and, uh, but maybe 50% of the time you'll see. You, do you still look the same? Like, will I recognize you? Well, it depends what costume I'm wearing. Because <laughs> sometimes I have a wig, uh, like a tinsel wig or something like that, or a hat. And uh, but uh, So, you know, back in, I wish I could remember what year it was in San Jose. I grew up here. And Frank Darian, who was a big advertiser in radio and in TV, mm -hmm. he used to host on Channel 11, KNTV, a dance show, yeah. and like Dance Party. Yeah. And I wish I could remember the correct name of it, but I mean, that goes way back, and you could have been on that show. Well, yeah, I mean, this is uh, a very popular format, like, and uh, you know, I grew up with uh, Soul Train. Yeah. And uh, that's, um, and it's, it's, just, it's just a fun show to watch, you know, um, and, and see uh, there's a lot of characters on coffee, TV, a dance party if you if characters you and it. dogs yes yeah and dogs <laughs> and uh, so I was recently at a sing-along for the movie Grease yeah and I gotta tell you my favorite part you know brought back such good memories was the dance party scene in yeah. Greece do you remember that uh, yeah yeah you yeah. know and they had contests yeah did you have contests on dance party yeah they they have they pick three people out every show and they run through a trivia uh, challenge uh, a dance challenge um, Were you ever a contestant? I never did that because I'm, I'm really bad at, at trivia. But um, but you're not but, bad at dancing. Uh, no, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, could you win? Did you give up a good prize by not ad entering? Uh, no, I got enough recognition. Yeah. Uh, a couple times the uh, the the host um, interviewed me on on there on the show. Like uh, I, when I wore my uh, Ghostbuster costume with a big tank and uh, and. Uh, hoses and stuff and they, they love that costume and so you went through a lot of trouble for dance party a lot yeah. I mean to make all those costumes it's hard work in fact, yeah. it's, a, it's an all-day thing to go up there and tape those shows and uh, and prepare your costume so why did you do it I love dancing that's it <laughs> and, fame, and I love the fame music. and no fortune and, it, and it's fun to share with all these other people that love yeah. dancing and we just have fun you know yeah are they and, gonna bring it back and bring on new shows I Oh, I'm sure they will. Yeah. But that's the way I look at, at Zumba, too. You know, Zumba is a, a fitness program, but it's more like a party in the class that we go to. Um, you know, this, this is a class where after every song, people clap and they hate to see the hour end. And uh, it, it really is like a party. So it, it's fun and you get exercise. Uh, you burn six or seven hundred calories an hour. 
So it's ideal. And you learn useful steps, like uh, maybe we'll see a little bit later. Uh, uh, you uh, know, <laughs> I used to do jazzercise. Yeah. Well, not really. I mean, I would be the, I would be the one who was picked on, uh, although I had the outfits. And then as soon as it was over, yeah. my cousin and I, Joni, we go get a candy bar at the nearest 7-Eleven. <laughs> so the exercise part really wasn't for us. Well, you, but, can, af you can afford to do that uh, <laughs> after you've burned enough calories. Well, I never really burned enough yeah. calories. So I was the person kind of just standing there saying, you want me to do what? Yeah. But I needed you. I needed you next to me. You would have inspired me. Well, that's it. Uh, you know, when it comes to dancing, uh, what you have to do is just, it uh, doesn't, doesn't matter what you do. Just do it with authority and uh, with and, confidence and like you're and, having fun and make sure it make it look like you know what you're doing even though you don't <laughs> and uh <laughs> but that's what i do I, I make stuff up a lot you know um, i just in, invent things i like to improvise well because i'm a i'm a jazz musician too and that's the way i play drums uh, every jazz song is different we played uh, we never play the same thing the same twice so it seems like engineering is your when you have time because yeah, everybody. yeah, and you're, and that's the way it should well, be. Well, I'm lucky. Um, these days, you know, I I've been working two jobs where I can make my own time and uh, and hang out and, here in downtown Los Gatos, yeah. where we have those great music in the park and jazz in the plaza. Yeah, when I have to have <laughs> to schedule a meeting, I say. They say, oh, can we do it at 9 o'clock Thursday? I go, oh, could we make it like 11:30 because <laughs> my class gets over at 10:30. So I may be sorry. Huh. I'm going to ask you. If when we come back, would you show me a few simple moves? Yeah. Um, simple. Actually, I've been thinking a lot about this because, <laughs> um, you know, uh, there, there's 15 million people that do Zumba. And uh, probably 100 million know what Zumba is, but they're reluctant to try is, it. Are they simple moves? And Yeah. They're, and they're, Am I going to look simple. like a dork? No, no. It's all simple. Okay. Yes, I've and, heard that before. And, uh, I've heard that many times. So maybe uh, what we'll work, do we'll is work on out. the basic steps of some of these okay. uh, Latin songs. And, and uh, But just show you the basic steps. And you won't be afraid I, of it I if like you want to jump into a class. Basic. And, yeah. So we're going to be back with the basics okay. with Ron Nath. We're going to take you over to Leicester Square, show you around, come on back. We're going to clear out the stage and... Ron Knapp is going to do something, and I'll try and follow. Thanks for staying with us. Community Storytelling, I'm Lisa Chrysler. Hi, it's Lisa Chrysler. I'm at Leicester Square right here at the corner of Blossom Hill Road and Los Gatos Boulevard. A lot of fun things to do. Ken! Lisa, I didn't so even nice to see you. Finish my sentence. I'm so surprised to see you. What are you doing here? Well, we live close by and we're taking Rocky to the vet today. So do you have time for a cup of coffee at Phil's with me afterwards? Sure. Is it your treat or mine? It's definitely your treat. And Rocky's coming too. I, good with me. I am so glad to run into you at Leicester Square. It's one of my favorite places. It's one of my favorite places too. And we've been to Varenza and Super Duper and Phil's and we love going here. And so you know where I live, I have no flowers. So I come here to Leicester Square to enjoy all the flowers. They're gorgeous. So the motto here that Linda Lester coined is meet me at the square or meet us at the square or meet your besties at the square. I meet everybody at the square. It's Lester Square in Los Gatos. Come on by and cheers. Yes. Well, welcome back to Community Storytelling. I'm Lisa Chrysler. I'm with Ron Knapp, who you've probably seen dancing around town. He loves to dance. Uh, we were talking about his, his time on Dance Party on Coffee TV 20 and you're doing Zumba now. Zumba. And you know, if you've ever listened to me as part of the morning show on KBE, you know I don't mind being embarrassed. I don't mind being silly. I never really expected this. I'm very uncoordinated. But you think you can show me a couple of oh, it's easy. easy steps. Don't worry about well, it. Well, you say it's easy. <laughs> OK, so what are we doing here? OK, so um, yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> Zumba doesn't really have any introduction to Zumba classes. A lot of people have asked for it, so maybe that's something we could offer in the future. But uh, because you know, normally you you just jump into a class and uh, and follow the leader, and after two or three, you'll you'll get it. But anyway, so I'll let, follow let, you. You'll let, be my leader. So yes, yeah, so are we going to hold hands? Yeah, no, face, no, you don't oh. have to. But just oh. face this direction. <laughs> <laughs> and let's just do the basic uh, okay. salsa step. Okay, so, so do we, okay, you so don't want to hold hands with So you start with your, your right okay. foot and go back. My right. One, two, three, and return to center, okay? 
So step back on your right. Right. Now step on your left. Left. And then step with your right. So back One. to center. Back to center. <laughs> okay. Let's try it again. I thought these were easy steps. Okay. okay. So back. Right. Back, left. Up. Up. Right, yeah. Okay. Yeah, one more time. Right, right left, right, right. Okay. Oh. And then, <laughs> next, yeah. you'll take your left foot and go forward the same way. One, two, back to center. Try it again. <laughs> left, right, right, right. Okay, wait. Yeah, just keep your right foot where it is. Okay, keep my... So you step forward. Left. Now step back on your right foot. On my right foot, and then this. I don't know. Close enough. Let's, let's <laughs> try it one more time. Step forward, left. Left. Now step on your right. Right. And then back to center. It's good enough. Okay. It's good enough. So um, let's try it a little faster, okay? okay. Oh, Go my god. back gosh. and then forward. So, okay. So one, two, three. Hold. You know what? I'll just watch you. <laughs> You're so, not going to give so, up. Uh, salsa is kind of a different rhythm. We go one, two, three, and hold four and then five, six, seven, and hold eight. So let me show you what it, what it looks like. One, two, three, hold four, five, six, seven, hold eight. So one, two, three, five, six, seven. Okay. One, two, three, five, five six, six, seven. I can count. So then, okay. if, if we were to um, oh, do a uh, partner, um, I would do the mirror. So you go back with your right foot, and I go forward with my left. Two, three. <laughs> and then now take your left foot and go forward. One, two, three. Okay. Now step every time. Step, One, step, two, step, three. Step, One, step. two, three. I'm not going the right way, yeah. but it's close enough. Step, step, step. And then put all your weight on your to for a step. So put all your weight on your right foot. Yes. Yes. Forward. Okay. Now all your weight on your left foot, and then back to center. Yeah. You know. Okay. When I was five, I was a yeah. twisting champion. Doing the twist. Oh yeah. Could we just go to that? So <laughs> this is beyond. So anyway, me. let me let me just show you. Yes, uh, you the, show. So the basic salsa step would might be. Uh, You're doing one, this two, at home, three, right? Five, six, seven. But in Zumba, because we're in a class, we we don't need to. We can go any direction. So you go. We could go forward with the left. We could go forward with the right, and we can go out to the side. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, five six, six, seven. seven. Yeah. Okay. See, I'm your partner. I'll yeah. count for yeah. you. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. So that that's the basic salsa step, and um, so, uh, but that's only one of the kind of styles that yes. Zumba has. Like another one is merengue. Merengue is the easiest because it's just walking. You kind of walk and twist. I only like my merengue <laughs> on my pie. Yeah, oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> this is a little too much for and, me. And uh, then we do. Do you do a final step? Then well, we do. Because I've given up. We, we do. Uh, we, we 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 would do um, uh, reggaeton. Reggaeton is kind of Latin hip hop, so kind of stomping one, two, and then double. And then we do a lot of single, single, double, and uh, so the Zumba shuffle is like right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. In fact, if you know the, the Zumba logo, it's a stick figure that looks like this, because it's the Zumba shuffle. And so there's a lot of other styles that we, we could do. I would rather um, see you do all this with your Ghostbuster costume Oh, yeah. <laughs> like uh, merengue, you know, I mean, uh, 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 flamenco. Flamenco, you stand up tall and uh, you do this with your hands. Or uh, Bollywood, you know, like this. So there's so many different things that you learn in Zumba. I can see And that. you can take it and you can use it at clubs or uh, at festivals. And uh, so uh, anyway. I uh, think you've given up on me already. Yeah. I've given up on me. You know, but dancing the, was never my thing. So it, it, it shouldn't be scary. If, if you wanted to try Zumba, just go and you'll see these basic steps. And then don't worry about them if they add arms. I hope Zumba's paying you for all this because you've given them a great commercial. Well, I, like I said, I'm kind of an advocate for Zumba. <laughs> I'm a certified instructor, and uh, and I work with Zumba at trade shows. Well, you, and I, you just earned yourself I, a raise. Oh yeah, you owned yeah. yourself a bonus. But I, but bonus. I, but I love it. I love Zumba. It's it's kind of <laughs> changed my life, and uh, and it's it's uh, it's fun and it's good for you. It's good health. Okay, maybe I'll should give it a try. Yeah. Well, thank you yeah. for being with us today. Well, thank you for being a sport. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't an embarrassed sport, but uh, you know what? I've done worse before. Okay. So. <laughs>
<laughs> yes, community storytelling at its finest. So, you know, you didn't realize you probably had a story just like Ron had a story. So let's have you come in here and get on stage with me. Maybe you can teach me something or I'll teach you something or we'll just sit here and chat. Community Storytelling, I'm Lisa Chrysler. And if you'd like to nominate yourself or someone or just, you know, get in touch with us. We'd love to hear from you at kcat.org.